So on my drawing now, um, I outline where I want my patterns to go. And there are a couple of things that I want to talk to you about when you're doing this. So the first thing is to think about the direction of your pattern. So I'm doing <clears throat> quite a lot of stripes um, because I really like stripes, but I try and vary the direction. So on the beak, because I think the beak would be rounded in real life, I've done curved stripes, which you'll be able to see a bit more when I colour it in. Um, on the bits of that I suppose are the cheeks, I've done stripes that are going from top to bottom to make them look as if they're sort of flying out as feathers. Um, and on the eyes, I'm doing all of the patterns going out from the middle. So thinking about how you place your pattern is the first thing um, and thinking about what direction your pattern is traveling in. Um, the second thing is I have chosen to use an orange pencil crayon to mark out where my lines are. Now I would usually use a yellow one and use it quite lightly um, but I didn't think you would be able to see that on camera. The reason that I am using a pencil crayon is because um, if you use pencil, you know how sometimes when you use lots of pencil you get pencil all over your hands? Um, that's because your pencil, the graphite rubs off and it creates dirty marks. Now if you pencil out your pattern um, you will not get as pure colour when you colour it in because you will have some graphite mixed in with it. So I prefer to use pencil crayon because you don't get the kind of pencil muddying up your colour um, when you add your colours. So it's totally up to you. Now with the with the patterns that I'm putting in, um, I looked really, really carefully at Farid Rueda's work that we had on the board to make sure that I was kind of copying some of his patterns. Um, and you'll notice that I'm swapping sides all the time. So I do a couple of sections and then I swap and do a couple of sections and that's just so I get it symmetrical.